You know, for someone who claims that doesn't know anything, you're a very, very difficult person to find and capture. Not only have you been able to escape my grasp time and time again, but also, I need to piss me off. Being a real pain in my ass. But I must admit, it's not your fault. I'm not sure if you're aware, Lily. There seems to be some sort of ominous force by you all the time. Some kind of astral symbiote. This thing keeps protecting you from me. But rest assured, I'm not gonna hurt you. Unless you give me a reason to. I wanna show you something. And you're gonna tell me if I'm right. Have a look at this. Tell me what you see. He was right. Something or someone was protecting me. I didn't know this at the time, but half a dozen of Killian's men who came after me suddenly died or got attacked in cold blood. I never got to see what killed them or how all of them died, except one. And he most definitely deserved it. Hi, my name is Lily. I don't know where to begin or how to explain. Storyango, as much as it's complicated, it's kind of mysterious. I'm not sure if mysterious is the right word to use. My family is dead and I And I am all that remains of the Kimani family. <sighs> and I'm all alone. <laughs> you see, the thing is, I've been hunted down for information that I personally didn't know about. But my family knew, and they paid for it, leaving me all alone, clueless, and afraid. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Let me start again. This is how it's all started.
No, 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 I just cook them a few minutes ago. Yeah. I know, right? It was kind of weird. Though. Yeah. But anyway, I had so much fun today. <laughs> you wanna bet? Just see the time and the date and I'll be there. <laughs> but we just had one a few minutes ago. Exactly. But I can't see you. Yeah. You. Hey babe, are you okay? How are you feeling? Oh, where are my manners? I should have knocked. You know, it's not nice for someone to come in and announce, especially at these odd hours, don't you think? But yet again, the night is still young. Just like. Chico, what the hell is going on? Hey, yeah. When is he obvious? I'm kidnapping you, dumbass. That is Jacob Miner. He's a psychopath and one of Killian's goons. He was sent by Killian to break through my defense and find out more about my protector. All along, I thought he loved me. I thought he cared for me. After everything that I've been through in my life, after my disappearing family, a missing father, and after, after, after losing my mom, nothing made sense, nothing until Jacob came into my life. I wasn't alone anymore. He made me feel safe. He helped me get over my pain. Showed me what love is. And I was so happy. What a lie. I thought I'd escaped my misery and fear. Turns out it was only a stupid, sick fairy tale.
took the liberty and made myself a snack. Want some? It's really good. Nothing. Jacob, this is not funny. Let me go now. Well, I'm so sorry I can't do that right now. I'm under orders. From who? From a special someone. Mutual to the both of us. He sent me here to keep an eye on you. And now he's told me to drop this Oscar award deserving performance and capture your finals. What the hell are you talking about? Are you blind or stupid or both? Let me help you understand. Everything you think you know, everything you think you and I ever had was a lie. Are you deaf or something? It was a setup. Everything you, I, doesn't exist. It was all fake. I don't believe you. Lily. This is the real world. Believe what you want. But I'm finally a free man. What I have been through. What everything we've been through together. <laughs> Credit that to my boss. Your boss? Yes, my boss. Uh, special someone. His name is Killian. Killian? No. K Killian was my father's colleague. Ding, ding, ding! Way to go, beautiful. You're not so stupid after all, are you? What does he want with me? Well, he'll carry it too. It'll be too much easier, well, we, my dear. But for now, I need you to keep your mouth shut as I contemplate the amount of mola I'll possess for capturing your finest. You're sick. Not to mention, rich. No, no. 
vake ni chifi. Oh. 
Do you know why you're here? Look at me. Let's not pretend you don't know who I am. What you don't know is what I'm capable of. So I'm gonna ask you again. Do you know why you're here? Is it because of my father? Good. Progress. And yes, it is because of your father. Whatever he did, it has nothing to do with it me. It has everything to do with you. He's the reason you're here. You put me here. My father is a good man. Your father is pathetic. Don't you dare talk about that. Enough. I have every right. Get it through your head. Your father isn't here. You are. You have no idea what he's done and what he's willing to do. So let me educate you. Your father had abilities. He could commune with the dead. He could see them, hear them. But that's not the only abilities he had. He, as well, could bring back the dead. However, the reviving was something else entirely. Let's just say they weren't themselves. He could, as well, control them, command them. That explains why he he would speak to himself, communicate with nothing. Exactly. I even thought he was losing it. All right, but oh, there is still, still more to this than you know. Your mother was barren. Your parents tried everything to have a child. They turned to a cult leader to call out and draw from very bowels of the astral, dark world. A bargain was made. Join and solve the cult, and the wish may be granted. You might as well guess how your parents solved the cult. Your father, after many years, wanted to quit. Sounds that he drew a conscience. Like I said, pathetic. Nonetheless, wanting out meant betrayal. Betrayal meant dire consequences. What consequences? We eliminated your mom, your entire family, just to get to him. He's been escaping us for almost half a decade until we got to you. Well, they cut the cult, you know, set me in charge to oversee your death. But I saw otherwise. I saw opportunity. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No. No, it's not. It's supposed to make you understand why you're here. What the hell do you want from me? What I want, Lee, is the truth. I have reason to believe that you as well possess your father's abilities. And if you cannot solve the cult, then you are useless to me. I told you. I... Think very carefully before you answer me. My patience is running on a very, very short fuse. 
So, you're gonna tell me what I need to know. If you cannot solve the cult, you die. I told you, I do not possess any powers. And if I did, what makes you think I would help you out? I have nothing to lose so far. Seems to me you want to bring someone back. Not your parent. A sibling. Obviously. A dead wife. Mind your tongue, pig. You know nothing.
So you're probably asking yourself, why I'm still alive? <laughs> 30 minutes later, well, <laughs> I came back. <sighs> Turns out, I did possess my father's power. At least, it's the only thing he left me with. Not sure if it's a gift. second chance. Very many unanswered questions. I wish, I wish my parents were here to help me. I will get the answers I need. I don't know how, but I'm not afraid anymore. And when I do get the answers I get, they will regret and beg for having messed with me and the Kimani family. How the tables have turned. Yeah. <laughs>